The third piece of the toolkit is how to use the data. This is a little bit separate from the grant requirements. The grant requirements are a grant mechanism that you have to perform to let SAMHSA know that you're collecting all the data and seeing people the way you described in your grant application. Using data is more of how to go above and beyond to promote good care coordination, how to do quality improvement work with your team, and how to show your great outcomes to the world at large. And there are three buckets. The first is sharing information with the people who are receiving services. This is an example of an individual wellness report. The bulk of the information comes from the NOMS interview and the, the health indicators that you collect. Um, you see the individual's health information over time for breath CO, BMI, blood pressure, all the health indicators. And then this grantee added wellness goals and health goals. This helps the consumer tie health status to health goals. It also lets all clinical staff know exactly what the individual is working on and why they're working on it. The second piece here is process dashboards. We have a couple examples. And this is to help the processes that the organization has identified as crucial to providing quality service. So we don't want to get into the whole thing here, but their goal is to enroll people. They started out just looking at enrollment. And in regular team meetings, reviewing their enrollment numbers, they identified key drivers of enrollment and they expanded their process dashboard to include those drivers of enrollment so that they can better manage their enrollment process and make sure that they're getting as many people through the door as they need. The third item is sharing outcomes. People show, people show outcomes for health improvement and cost savings outcomes. This example shows that a reduction, or excuse me, a slight increase in preventative spending of $240, $240,000 resulted in an over $500,000 decrease and more expensive inpatient and acute care charges. The, and this made the case to funders, to the board, to state Medicaid office, that the additional care coordination services that they're providing result in system-wide decreases of spending. And this was a crucial part of that organization's sustainability plan. Additionally, in the toolkit, we have a couple examples of databases that are used to manage the information that creates these reports. And you're free to use those databases. They're prepared by other grantees and there are videos that explain how to install and use those databases. Thank you.